nasal mask or full face mask? Which one works better for a CPAP? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today I want to talk about mask styles and how they play a role in CPAP. So CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure. So a CPAP device generates air pressure like a reverse vacuum, so to speak, and it puts pressure in through your nose. And that, that pressure holds your throat open, the back of your throat, uh, all the way to the epiglottis, to the, the windpipe, is held open by air pressure. When you breathe on a CPAP, no matter what mask you have, you're going to be 99% of the time breathing through your nose. The reason that they make masks that go over the mouth, also called full face masks, is really to keep the mouth closed, not to breathe through the mouth, sort of like a fighter pilot in Top Gun or a scuba diver. CPAP involves breathing through the nose. You are supposed to breathe through the nose when you're asleep at night, and if you're not, there's a problem. So when you start off on a CPAP mask, I would recommend starting with a nasal mask. And there are many types of nasal masks. There's some that go uh, in the nose, like, like this one, it plugs into the nose, and then some that go under the nose, and then some that go over the nose. This is what I would start with first. You do not know if your mouth is going to open unless you first use a nasal mask. You may breathe through your mouth without CPAP, but that's abnormal. With the pressure from the CPAP, the muscles of the back of your mouth and throat should remain open. And therefore, on any type of CPAP mask, you should now be able to breathe normally as you would through your nose. Well, then why would you need something that goes over your mouth? Well, there's a chance that your mouth could still open while you're on a CPAP, but you're not gonna be breathing through your mouth. Air is venting, it's escaping through your mouth. So if air escapes through your mouth, if it's mild, you could probably ignore it. But if it's really bothering you, you're, you're gagging on, on the air pressure or it's drying out your mouth, you may want to consider using a chin strap. So this is an example. A chin strap goes under your chin, over your head, and keeps your mouth closed. Now this may work for some individuals, but others, the air could still escape through the mouth or through the teeth, even with the chin strap. These chin straps aren't of the highest quality. But try several different types, several different models of chin strap. And if that still doesn't work, then you want to use a full face mask. Full face masks cover the nose, cover the mouth. Uh, some of them go under the nose. They even make total full face masks, which go over the whole face. What are the downsides of a full face mask, however? Well, the benefit is that they keep the mouth closed more effectively than a chin strap. The downside is they could exert pressure on your chin and that can put move the jaw backwards and actually cause the throat to become narrower. So therefore you would need higher pressures to keep your throat open. The second part is that if with the full face mask your mouth opens, the air pressure that goes into your mouth can counteract the air pressure coming from behind your mouth. So I have many patients who need a much higher pressure with a full face mask than with a nasal mask or nasal pillows. And then the last thing is the full face masks are larger, therefore they have to cover more contours and surface areas of your face. So they are much more prone to leakage than just a little nasal pillows mask that just plugs into your nose like two corks. So those are the downsides, but some people do need full face masks. It's not as many as the number of people using full face masks, however. So if you're new to CPAP or you're, you're struggling with CPAP, go back to the nasal masks, try them first, and if you just can't get the mouth venting under control, only then choose a full face mask. There are probably 15 or more on the market. You'll eventually find one that fits and works well. As always, this video is for medical informational purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice or medical practice. So please make all decisions about your health under the supervision of a licensed medical professional. And one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.